How do you like my centrifuge, Mr. Bond? When I throw this lever, you will feel centrifugal force crush every bone in your body. You mean centripetal force? There is no such thing as centrifugal force. A laughable claim, Mr. Bond. Perpetuated by overzealous teachers of science. Simply construct Newton's laws in a rotating system and you will see centrifugal force term appear as plain as day. Come on. Do you really expect me to do coordinate substitution in my head while strapped to a centrifuge? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Centrifugal force indeed doesn't exist. The Earth, due to its mass, pulls the Moon toward its center. This gravitational pull exerts a center-seeking force on the Moon, aka centripetal force, keeping it in orbit around the Earth. If the Earth suddenly disappeared, the Moon would fly off in a straight line into space. Imagine swinging a rope in a circular motion with a rock attached to the end. If you were sitting on the rock, you would feel a force pushing you outward. That's what people call centripetal centrifugal force. But if you were watching this from the outside, you would know that centrifugal force doesn't actually exist. In reality, the rock wants to continue moving in a straight line, which is exactly what would happen if you suddenly cut the rope, but the rope keeps pulling it toward the center. This inward pull is the centripetal force, and the combination of these two things, the rock's forward motion and the rope's inward pull is what creates the circular path. The centrifugal force you would feel on the rock is really just your body's inertia resisting the change in direction that the rope is forcing upon it, even though centrifugal force isn't a real force. It's very useful to treat it as if it were real when analyzing motion from rotating reference frames. This helps us understand many devices and phenomena.